Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some big news shaking up the headlines in the UK Keir Starmer's latest surprise announcement on pensions and urgent winter fuel payments. Yes, you heard that right. Changes to your pension funds and winter fuel payments for 2024 are on the horizon and we're here to break it down for you. Make sure you stick around because we're also going to talk about how these payments may impact your finances. Quick question for you, when was the last time you checked your bank account to make sure you were getting what you're owed? You might want to start doing that more often with what we're about to share today. So before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss important updates that could impact your money. All right, let's jump into the details. So if you're on a pension or rely on winter fuel payments, you know that every change to these benefits can make a huge difference in managing your expenses especially with inflation rising and costs constantly going up. Keir Starmer's announcement has everyone talking because it could mean real change right at the time people need it most. But what exactly is the surprise and how does this affect you, your family and possibly even the way you save for retirement? Now, we're going to explain the key points of what's happening and importantly, how to find out if these payments are going to impact your bank account. As always, if you find this information helpful or have questions along the way, Make sure to leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. First off, let's talk about the urgency of winter fuel payments this year. With energy prices being higher than ever, these payments are crucial for millions of people. The winter fuel payments help pensioners and low-income households with heating costs during the colder months, and it's no secret that this is especially needed this year. But what's different about the payment for 2024? That's where things get interesting. Under the new scheme, many pensioners who usually qualify for a certain amount may see a change in their payout. It's essential to know how much to expect because these payments aren't automatic for everyone you need to be in the system and eligible. That means checking your bank account around the time the Department for Work and Pensions, or DWP, announces the release of these payments. The DWP has confirmed that Wednesday is the expected date for these payments to start hitting accounts, so mark your calendars. So, what is Keir Starmer's role in this? Well, his latest announcement addresses both the issue of pension security and fuel payment support. His team is focused on reviewing policies that could support more people, particularly pensioners who might be struggling with the rising costs of living. There's also talk about introducing a more structured, predictable payment system that doesn't fluctuate as much depending on government budgeting year to year. But the real surprise here is the speed and urgency of the initiative. Usually these types of policy changes don't move so fast, but the pressure has been high for the government to act quickly due to the increased energy costs. This could mean that Starmer and his team are looking to make these payments more reliable and possibly increase the amount for the most vulnerable. But the question remains, will it be enough to actually make a difference? And will it really reach everyone who needs it? Make sure to let us know in the comments what you think about these proposed changes and if they're enough to ease the pressure for households during these tough winter months. Now, if this topic is hitting close to home for you, or you're just interested in staying informed on these issues, don't forget to subscribe. We bring you all the latest news on changes that could affect your finances and benefits, and you won't want to miss out on updates like these. Now, let's break down how to make sure you're eligible for these winter fuel payments. The payment scheme is usually open to those over a certain age, typically pensioners over 66, and in many cases, if you're already receiving certain benefits, you should automatically qualify for the winter fuel payment. However, one of the big changes this year is that the eligibility criteria are reportedly getting an update, so it's worth checking to see if you or your family members qualify, even if they didn't in the past. The DWP has made it clear that all eligible individuals should be receiving payments by the end of January at the latest, but the majority of payments will start rolling out this Wednesday. So, if you don't see it in your account by then, it's a good idea to follow up. A quick phone call to the DWP could help you could help you confirm your eligibility and payment status. After all, you want to make sure you're getting every penny that's due to you, especially during the colder months. Another key point worth noting here is that with Starmer's proposal, they're not just looking at winter fuel payments but also discussing potential changes in pension contributions. There's been talk about revisiting pension rates and potentially adjusting how contributions work for the younger generation as well. This could mean some interesting changes down the road, not just for current pensioners but also for those who are working and planning for retirement. It's worth keeping an eye on how these changes could impact long-term pension plans. 
Now, if you're wondering whether this will also impact the way your pension grows over time, you're not on alone. This is a topic we'll keep monitoring closely, so again, subscribe if you want to stay updated on all the details as they unfold. One other thing to keep in mind about this new policy and something that many people are asking about is how it will affect the way these payments interact with other benefits. For example, will receiving a winter fuel payment reduce other benefits, like pension credit? According to the latest information, the government intends to keep the fuel payment separate so it doesn't negatively affect other benefits, but it's still wise to check for updates as these plans roll out. Let us know in the comments if you're experiencing any issues with your current benefits or have any questions about what you might be entitled to this winter. Your questions could help others in similar situations, so don't hesitate to reach out. Okay, so by now you're probably wondering what exactly to look for in your bank account. The winter fuel payment is usually labeled clearly, but it's worth checking with your bank if you don't see it by Wednesday or shortly after. For many people, this could mean an additional PS100 to PS3000 for the winter period. Remember, this payment is meant to assist with heating and electricity costs, so it's essential to budget it wisely. Make a plan for how you'll use this extra income to offset those higher bills. This is especially important if you're on a fixed income, as many pensioners are. The best way to ensure you're getting the full benefits is to monitor your accounts closely during this period. If you don't receive your payment by the expected date, the first thing to do is contact the DWP. Many people assume that these things happen automatically, but mistakes do happen, and trust us, you don't want to leave money on the table. A quick check-in could save you a lot of hassle later on. Now, this part is crucial share this video with friends or family who may benefit from this information. Not everyone is aware of these updates or knows what to look out for. And if you're finding value in these updates, hit that like button to let us know and leave a comment if you have questions. We're here to help and your engagement also helps others find this valuable information. As we come toward the end of the video, let's recap the main points. Keir Starmer has introduced new policies aiming to support pensioners and those who qualify for winter fuel payments. The DWP has stated that these payments should start arriving in bank accounts by Wednesday and it's important to verify that you've received the correct amount. With energy costs skyrocketing, this could provide a welcome relief to many households. Remember, if you're unsure about eligibility, it's always best to double check with the DWP. Before we sign off, we just want to say don't wait to make these checks. Knowing where you stand financially can really help you plan better and reduce stress. Finally, if you found this video helpful and want to stay on top of essential updates like these, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We're committed to bringing you timely, relevant content that keeps you informed and empowered. Thanks for watching, stay warm this winter, and take care. We'll see you in the next video.